Welcome to Banash's Oodle Tips first demonstration video. My name is Brenda Grimes and I'm the inventor of the Oodle Tip. First, I'd like to introduce the product. We have the Oodle Tip and we have its little version called the Little Oodle Doodle for children. I want to explain what this is and I want you to listen very, very carefully because even after I explain it, people don't comprehend because again, it's never been done before. The Oodle Tip is the first ever fully disposable food filling and decorating bag with an attached versatile tip. Again, I, I wanna say that slowly so you understand what it is that's inside this box. It's the first ever food filling and decorating bag that's disposable and each bag has an attached versatile tip. What does that mean? That means that you no longer have to mess around with metal tips, hard plastic tips, assemb assembling them with cobblers, cleaning them, taking it off. Food gets stuck in the, in the tips. We're gonna talk about that later, how it doesn't get stuck in the oodle tip. Um, and no longer do you have to resort to using a Ziploc bag for your food filling purposes. But let's begin, let's show you what each bag looks like. Uh, and I'll show you how it's so versatile and how one tip can do 15 plus metal tips. In other words, one tip of the oodle tip, depending on where you cut that tip, can create what over 15 traditional tips can do. All right, let's take a box out so you know what they look like. Let's take out a box of oodle tips. Again, this is the adult version. This is the retail home version. There are 10 bags in each box. Each bag, again, has what? An attached tip. They're not separate. You don't have to put them together. They're tight, they're attached, they're not gonna break off. You could put some heavy duty food in here twice baked potatoes, frosting, whatever it is you desire. It's not gonna come apart. When you're done, we don't suggest that you save them. The idea and the intent was you throw it away, no mess, no fuss, easy cleanup. Let's first talk about how the tip is so versatile. Each tip was designed with internal ridges. We're not gonna get into that now, but I'll show you how you customize each tip. If you look, at the tip itself, the way it's designed is the very top portion of the tip is a simple round piping. When you start getting into the deeper edge of the tip, there's internal ridges that will create a French star design. And depending on where you cut this tip will depend on not only the size of your shape, but the design of your shape as well. So again, look at the tip. We'll try to get some close-ups of the tip later. But when you cut up here, this is primarily for where you're gonna write happy birthday on a cake, where you're gonna put little dots, where you're gonna do your detailed designs. Maybe even just decorating a cookie with some icing. On the latter portion, the thicker portion, there are internal ridges, thick ridges, that as the food and or the frosting extrudes, it's gonna create a French star design. And you can go anywhere from one quarter inch all the way up to almost an inch in a French star design and then, lo and behold, if you cut at the very top of the tip, in the back end here, you can get that beautiful puff uh, type of design that they're doing with cupcakes now, the cloud design. You can also use it for heavy food filling. How is the tip so versatile? Well, it's easy. You don't need a cobbler. Again, the tip is already attached. It's attached to the bag. The way that you get your shape and design is simply by using a pair of scissors. So if you get your scissors or a pair of shears, you decide what shape, what size you want. Again, if you cut very close between one quarter and, and the end of the tip, you're gonna get your intricate designs, your lines, your dots, your writing, um, your very detailed uh, round designs. And if you, obviously if you cut it more towards the end, the smaller that round is gonna be. If you cut it up more towards the French star, it's gonna be a larger round. Again, you have to play with it a little. The French star begins again, as I said, at a quarter inch, very important, and goes all the way up to almost an inch. So what size are you looking for? Are you looking for small? I would suggest you start a little smaller. You can always go bigger, but you can't go back. You'll have to use another oodle tip. Try it like that. If it's not big enough, go ahead and clip a little more off. It's very forgiving. See that? It doesn't have to be straight. It's a little slanted. Wait till you see the beautiful design this makes. 
Okay, now we get to go to the fun stuff. We get to demonstrate the fun things that the oodle tip and the little, obviously the little oodle doodle can do. Let's start with food filling. Again, the reason why I first thought about the oodle tip was because I had problems filling food. I would either have to use a plain Ziploc bag, and then of course you don't get the decoration, or my food would get stuck in the tip and I would get frustrated. So let's start with some food filling because it does a great food filling and you get the design, you get to throw it away. Again, no cleaning, no mess, no fuss, no assembly. What I did last night is I made some chocolate cream filling and some vanilla cream filling. I didn't want to wait till the morning. And I closed them with what I call my little oodle doodle clips and we'll talk about those later. And I stuck them in my refrigerator, I didn't cut them. And they kept overnight. So now, right before my company comes, I'm gonna be able to fix my dessert and serve it. It's gonna be nice, it's gonna be fresh. There's gonna be no mess, no fuss. I would never do this with a metal tip, by the way, because I wouldn't want my filling or any kind of food sitting on uh, metal uh, uh, all night long. And I, I, those things rust uh, very, very easily. So, but this I have no problem putting it in my refrigerator for a day or two uh, and then using it when ready. And you'll see how, how easy, how simple, so let's say it's after dinner, your guests are in the kitchen, you're cleaning up, let's say food filling or cake decorating, we're gonna cut right about there. See how easy, take it, take your horns. Look at that, look at that, you're done. Let's do it with the chocolate, maybe that'll show up just a little bit better. Again, we're doing food filling. You might wanna hold it so it doesn't Splatter, there you go. I think I made a little too much. Look at that, look at the beautiful design, you're done. One, two, three, great for cannolis, stuffed shells. See that, look how easy. Two seconds, as good as any other tip anything gets clogged because I got pieces of chocolate in here all you do I should have a piece of paper here all you do is squeeze the tip see that and you'll release the clog let's try and we're gonna get bits and pieces of chocolate look at that beautiful for food filling you do one side vanilla one side chocolate this is great for the kids to help you with too it's just something that they can't mess up we finish them with just a little powdered sugar. Again, it's all about presentation. That's why we created the oodle tip and the little oodle doodle. If not, we'd just be using a Ziploc bag. So again, a little powdered sugar. It took all of about two minutes to do. You're ready to serve it to your guests. You cook the night before, you store it, you fill it before you serve it, and you're good to go. No mess, no fuss, everything is clean. Now that we finished the filling section of the demonstration, let's talk about a proprietary design that only the oodle tip can create. No other tip out there, no traditional metal tip, plastic tip can create this design, and it's called the ribbon design. And the reason why it cannot create the design is because all your metal tips have the orifice at the end. This is where all the decorating occurs. We all know it, it's just an opening or a design at the end of a tip when the food or the icing or the frosting extrudes through it, that's where the decorating occurs. Unlike the oodle tip, and very different than the oodle tip, all of the decorating occurs inside the tip because, again, there are ridges on the inside of this tip. I'm gonna cut open a tip just to show you the internal structure and show you why this tip can create what we call the ribbon design, the proprietary ribbon design, uh, that most recently when we were at the International Houseware Show, all the renowned chefs and cooks could not understand how we were getting this particular design in the frosting, and we're gonna show you here in a minute. But let's open up a tip. Let's show you the internal structure so that you get a good understanding as to why you can do this with an oodle tip, but you're not gonna be able to do it with any other tip out there. If we cut open a, a tip long ways, it'll be a little hard to see on camera, but you see these ridges? When you put gel food coloring inside this bag and then fill it with white frosting. These channels and ridges 
create such a deep indentation in the frosting when it extrudes through it that it creates a white channel and leaves the food coloring on the end. That's why we call it the ribbon design. And you'll see that if you take a good look here, what I've done earlier, these are just different colors, different little designs. See this? It's very simple to create that. We don't do anything special. It's the tip that does that design. All we do is, again, put a little food coloring, food gel, so that the, the frosting doesn't uh, thin out. You put a little food gel, not a lot. More is actually worse in this case. The more you put, then the channels are gonna get filled with the food gel. So just a little bit of food gel. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then you fill it with some white frosting buttercream and you just pipe out. And you're gonna get, you don't have to do anything else, and you'll get this beautiful ribbon design that only the oodle tip and little oodle doodle can do. Again, it's only because of the way that the internal structure is created inside the tip. No matter how hard you try, you're not gonna get that from any metal tip or plastic tip out there. The kids absolutely love when you take their little oodle doodle and you put a little gel frosting in and they're able to make designs like this as young as four and five year old children, they think they've actually done something pretty extraordinary. So it's fun to watch their face as they start to create their own cupcakes. But you see how beautiful they are? I'm not a baker. I don't think I've ever made a homemade cake in my life. They're beautiful, aren't they? Okay, now let's create the actual ribbon design. I'm gonna walk through step by step on what you need to do. This will, by far and large, probably the most complicated thing you ever do with the bag and the oodle tip. And watch how easy it is. Get any size oodle tip. You know what, for fun, why don't we actually take a little oodle doodle? The little oodle doodles, as I said before, I would explain the difference. The difference between the little oodle doodle and the oodle tip is really simple. It's only two things. One, this is a 16 inch bag and this is a 12 inch bag. Two, the little oodle doodles have five colors. Two colors each in each box. It's kind of like a box of crayons. The kids just seem to have more fun. It's just not a plain tip. They get excited about it. They know that these are theirs. So let's take a, a 12 inch little oodle doodle. What we're gonna do is just get some food gel. Okay, it's very important to use food gel, not any kind of food coloring, because if you use watered down food coloring, it will thin out the frosting and then it's hard to hold the shape. So food gel works the best. You might wanna put gloves on, because we all know that when you use food coloring, you get, and I'm gonna do it right now, right? I'm telling you to put gloves on and I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I just happen to use a straw. It's the simplest way to do it. You can get a stick. Sometimes those sticks that you get it, uh, when you buy coffee, those wooden sticks work. Just put a little food gel on a stick or a straw. Get it down inside the bag. Try not to get it on you. And just squeeze. That's it. That's all you need to do. Throw that away so you don't get it on you. Then you see this? All you need to do is go like this. Get it around the bag. You don't have to get it on top, but just get it on both sides. That is it. You need to do nothing else except clean up the mess with the food gel here. So close that up. I'll do that later. Get your frosting. This is another thing I wanna mention. I use, for demonstrations and actually for my home baking, I use a buttercream. Buttercream seems to work best. If you're gonna use an over-the-counter frosting such as Duncan Hines or Betty Crocker that you get in the supermarket, they're a little on the softer side. <clears throat> and again, with any tip, you're gonna wanna put them in the refrigerator for oh, maybe five, 10 minutes at most. Get them a little stiff because when you use a pastry bag, you know if you used one before, the warmth of your hands will soften up uh, the material inside. So if you start with a softer frosting and then you start using it, your hands are gonna warm it up and your design is just not gonna hold as well. Uh, so I find that this buttercream, this commercial buttercream works fantastic. And if I have to use Duncan Hines, I just put it in the refrigerator for a couple of minutes. So now let's just put a little frosting in there. Again, all we did was take a food gel, any color you want, stick it inside the bag, move it around to get it around. And now we're gonna fill it with some frosting. 
Not a big deal. And as I said, this is going to be the most complicated thing you do with an oodle tip. I'm not going to do all that much here because I just want to show you how it's done. That's it. Take your little oodle doodle. Put your frosting in. I love these white aprons. You get to wipe everything on them. Get your frosting down into the bag. You'll have to cut a hole because if you don't have air, you're just going to create a pocket. So cut a little hole at first. You're not going to cut your decorating hole. You're just going to cut a little hole to allow you to get the frosting to the bottom. Again, if you used any kind of pastry bag, this is no different. Okay. So remember, cut a little hole. Otherwise, you're going to create an air pocket and your material is not going to get to the bottom. Let's get a doily so you can see. This is the ribbon design. Again, you're using food gel. Let's make it rather big. You'll have to extrude a little bit first because at the very beginning, you're not going to have anything. Except, there you go, and it's starting to come out. Now watch, look at that. I'm not doing anything. The tip is doing it itself. Again, your four-year-old, your husband, your mother, anybody. How beautiful is that? We're done, you throw it away. You wanna make great cupcakes like that? Only the oodle tip can do it. Okay, so let's try this again. I want to show you that making a cupcake and using the ribbon design technique is as easy as doing it on a doily. Let's take a bag and how about some yellow? We'll use a regular size bag this time. We'll put probably a little more frosting. Again, I use a straw or a stick or anything that you can throw away. Remember what I said, more is not good. You want to do just a little bit. When you start putting too much in there, the colors will blend into the white. It's just invariable that that will happen. Okay. What do we do now? We just put our hands, get it on all four sides. This is a bigger bag, so get it up a little bit. Again, you don't want, you don't want the, the food gel up in the top area. You just want it primarily in the bottom. As the frosting or food material extrudes through, it'll catch some. There's nothing methodical about it at all. So don't, don't think that you gotta get it perfect. Open your bag. Let's cut the hole first, just a little hole so the air gets through. Again, I use buttercream. If you're gonna use Duncan Hines or over the counter, put it in the fridge for a good 10 minutes. Not too much longer than that, because then it'll just be hard on you. All right, I think we got enough there. Make a couple of cupcakes. Shake it down. Look at that, that's it. Get the air bubbles out. Okay, let's cut. Again, I like to do a medium. The cupcake's medium to large. The larger seems to look nicer with the, the ribbon design. But you can do any size you want. You could even do piping. Now you notice I don't spend a lot of time cutting it a straight edge. It's important is that you get the diameter that you're looking for. Uh, you want to get, some people want smaller stars, larger stars. If you cut it on a slant, it's not a big deal. You're still going to get the same exact design. So let's now decorate a cupcake. I'm going to grab one here. Again, I'm not a pastry person by any means. Look how easy. That's it. You're done. Now, I think I have enough in here to do the puff. I love the new puff cupcakes when you go into those bakery shops, those cupcake shops. Let's see if we can do that. But you can play with this and you'll get your own technique. Look at that. 
Look how wonderful that looks. Nice and puffy like marshmallow. Okay, so that is as easy as it gets. And again, that'll be the most difficult thing you do with the noodle tip. We're gonna throw that away. We'll put these over to the side. And I'm sure you'll be much better at this than I am. Okay, so just to recap, let's talk about the benefits we've talked about so far. We know that the oodle tip is disposable. We know that the tip is attached. We know the tip is versatile. It can do 15 plus traditional tip decorations. We know that it has a proprietary ribbon design, which makes our cupcakes and other decorating look professional. What else can it do? Besides the fact that it's clean and it's fast and it's easy. Well, a benefit that occurred to me about a year ago when I was entertaining, I had a party for about 40 or 50 people at the time, is I started to prepare my food as I always do the night before. Except this time when I was making stuffed shells and my stuffed mushrooms, instead of filling them and putting the trays in the refrigerator, I decided to put the filling in the oodle tip put it in the refrigerator, and then I would fill the mushrooms and the shells the next day right before I was ready to bake them. And the reason I did that, not because I was so smart and I said, oh my goodness, this will save on space, but because I ran out of space and I had so much food in the refrigerator, I didn't have an alternative. So I either had to make the stuff the next day or I could make it the night before and put it in an oodle tip and save on that refrigerator room. So again, that's what I did. I worked the night before, cooked everything, put the stuffed mushroom stuffing in a noodle tip bag after it cooled, of course, stuck it in the refrigerator. I made the mozzarella and the ricotta and the stuffing for the stuffed shells. I was making Italian stuffed shells, put that in a bag, stuck it in the refrigerator. The next day, just before I baked it, I stuffed the stuffed mushrooms and the stuffed shells literally in about three minutes, stuck them in the oven. It saved on space in my refrigerator, it saved on time, and you know what? They were fresher. Instead of stuffing them the night before and getting everything dried out, everything was fresh. It was fantastic. Okay, so instead of talking about it, let's actually fill an entire tray of deviled eggs from some deviled egg mixture I made last night and put in the refrigerator. I have here a platter. I put the egg whites, the cooked egg whites, if you will, in each slot. This is an Easter tray. Again, most of my time last night was boiling the eggs, peeling the eggs, cutting them open, making the mixture. I like to do a small to medium cut on this. Let's see how long this takes us. Ready? I want you to start timing. Ready? Almost done. You can do this right before your guests get there. Because how many of you have done this ahead of time and tried to cover it because you don't want it smelling up the refrigerator and your whole refrigerator smells like eggs. That's just, unfortunately, that's just what deviled eggs smell like. We're done. That's it. Let's decorate it. Voila. Throw away the bag. You don't have to take off a tip. Now that we talked about uh, space saving and preparing the night before, let's talk about no clogging. This was very, very important to me when I was designing the noodle tip. The reason being is several years ago, uh, one of the decisions to make the noodle tip or to design the noodle tip was because I was tired of using that Ziploc bag. Everybody knows about the Ziploc bag. Every chef on TV uses a Ziploc bag. It's in every recipe. And the reason being, it's not because they don't want the design. It's because they're so tired of their food clogging the tip and having to dismantle everything that they just opted for the convenience of a Ziploc bag just to fill whatever it is they're filling. Again, they're foregoing the design. We no longer need to do that. With the oodle tip, nothing will ever clog because the tip is soft. And if it, something does get clogged in it, then you simply just squeeze it and you dislodge it and it comes through. It's that simple. I've made twice baked potatoes. It, the potatoes have had bacon in it, chives, um, chunks of potatoes, cheese, cheddar cheese. Did the 
tip get clogged? Absolutely. Was I able to get it loose very quickly? Yes, just simply by squeezing the end of the tip. So what I've created today is I've created some filling to go into celery. And in the filling I have uh, chives, I have uh, pimentos, I have chopped olives, I've got a bunch of uh, coarsely chopped herbs. Again, I did this last night, so it's time saving. I stuck it in my refrigerator. Very quickly before your guests come, cut a small French star. Let's see, how quick can we do this? Let's try. See that? Look at that. A little harder because you got thick food pieces, but let me show you something. I'm gonna lift this up for the camera. See all those chunks? Try doing that with a metal tip. See the chunks of pimento and olives and herbs? You're not gonna get that. You're not gonna be able to do that. You're gonna get frustrated and you're gonna go back to using a Ziploc bag. Again, it requires a little heavier squeezing, especially if you're doing your twice-baked potatoes, but look at the beautiful design. Again, quick, easy. This came right from the refrigerator. I have hard cream cheese in here. Again, I feel something sticking. Just squeeze it out. Take a paper towel. Dislodge it, you're done. We're gonna decorate this a little bit more with some capers. scallions or green onion and parsley that took all of about two minutes most of the work again was the night before and no clogging okay so we're getting down to now the last segment of our demonstration but before I do I feel like it's it's important that we recap all of the benefits of the oodle tip and little oodle doodle and if I can remember them all because there really are so many one, it's disposable. It's a disposable food filling and cake decorating bag with an attached tip that is versatile. The tip is versatile. You can create up to 15 plus different uh, designs and shapes with that tip. Not only is it versatile, but the tip is soft. So we know that it's not gonna clog your food filling. You'll never have to dismantle it again. And it, what I started out by saying, it's disposable. No more mantling and dismantling and cleaning tips it's sanitary, it's clean. Storage, you can prepare all your food fillings the night before. Very, very important when you're trying to save space and time. But now we're gonna focus more on the Little Oodle Doodle and why it's so special. As I mentioned before, the Little Oodle Doodle is a 12 inch bag. The Oodle Tip for the Home Chef is 16 inches. The 12 inch, obviously, because we've got little hands, little hands have to get around it. But in this box, and I, I've got a box open down here, is 10 bags, just like the Oodle Tip, 10 12 inch bags. Remember, 10 bags with attached tips that are 12 inches in size. But they have different color tips, like a box of crayons. And there's two each. So there's five colors in total. You've got purple, red, pink, green, blue. And the kids really just seem to enjoy the different colors. You know, the girls want the pink and the boys want the blue. Inside each little Oodle Doodle box is a clip. We use this clip for the children to hold the bag closed so that the filling and the frosting's not falling out all over the place. And the clip is inside the lid. So we're gonna take the clip off and show you how it works. It's very small. It's designed not to protrude too much so it doesn't poke the children in the eye. It's a simple little clip you put around and it ties the bag closed. It's that easy. Now we like to do, around the holidays, we obviously uh, bake our share of cookies and we like to have the kids, especially the gingerbread and the gingerbread houses. I thought it'd be nice to demonstrate uh, decorating some cookies with a little oodle doodle. So these cookies, I put on some cookie icing. You can see it's hardened. You can do this one of two ways. All you have in this bag is sifted powdered sugar, water, and some food coloring. Essentially, this will do three times more than what this does for $4.99. So how do we do this? Fill the bag up, put your twisty clip on, because this is very liquid. Put your twisty clip on, fill it up with your mixture of 
powdered sugar and water. You want to cut a small hole because it's going to drip out. So you cut a small hole. Get yourself a sugar cookie. And you just go, see that? And I can make a bigger hole, but I'm trying not to make a mess. And it'll drip over the sides and then you let it dry. That's how easy it is. Look at that. You're done. Hold it up. Bring your next one over. And I'm only going to do a couple of these because I have them all done. But I like doing different colors. Comes up, again, depending on what holiday. That's it. You're done. Uh, but we're going to put this over to the side. And we're going to take back our hardened ones. And we're going to put over to the side the ones we just did. They're not hard yet. But we don't want to waste them. So we'll put these behind us. Now what do we do with these? Well, we can do a couple of things. We can just do some design. Again, I have some food gel, sparkly food gel actually. All these tips are gonna be cut not in the star area, but in the piping area because you can do, most of your cookie design is done in the piping area. So again, this is no more than, look at that, white icing. And I'm not a very good design person, but you can just do any kind of design, any kind of filling. You can do a smiley face. Got the extent of my creativity here. But I let the kids do whatever they want. You can do dots, which is always my favorite. I love making a cake and taking dots and covering the entire cake in little dots. To me, I don't know, there's something that looks classy about that. It looks very pretty. It's simple. I never did it on a cookie before. So just do this real quick. Again, this is all piping. You might have to help the kids a little bit depending on how thick the frosting is. They're better off with the icing. Then you could take some blue and go over them. It doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm just playing just to give you an idea. Red, white, and blue cookies. We have chocolate and vanilla cookies here. Again, you see my pattern of dots I started. The idea is the oodle tip and the little oodle doodle is great for holiday cookie decorating because most of your cookies are done with icing, lines, dots, leaves. Look at that. I'm going to show you. Let's do this. I'm just going to pick this up for the camera. Can you see that? Again, just different widths, shapes, styles, designs. You can do happy birthday, squiggly lines. I think it's self-explanatory. Well, that's it. And that concludes our demonstration on the Oodle Tip. We went over all the benefits. Again, the benefits are most important, it's disposable. It's one piece pastry food filling bag with an attached tip that's versatile and it's disposable. No mess, no fuss. You'll never use a metal tip ever again. It's clean. It has a proprietary ribbon design. You can use it to prepare your food ahead of time uh, and your food is fresh the next day when you're preparing it. The list goes on and on and I'm sure we haven't nearly covered all the benefits and features of the Oodle Tip. But one thing I can tell you is that if you go to our website, www.banache.com, that's the name of the company, Banache, B as in boy, O, double N as in Nancy, O, S, H, dot com, and the product is the Oodle Tip. We have an interactive site where you can upload all your Oodle Tip creations in a photo. You can share your recipes. 
if you are uh, very active and you do a lot of wonderful things and you want to videotape it, please, by all means, videotape it, send it to me. We, we are uploading the demonstration videos on the site. Uh, we have a forum. You can share all your Oodle Tip tricks with your fellow Oodle Tippers. Uh, it's a great site. Please come visit us. You can buy the product directly there. You can find it at your nearest retailer. If they don't have it, ask them where's the Oodle Tip. Uh, and again, thank you, and thanks for watching.